Now, within uh, the next few hours, a federal appeals panel is expected to decide whether to reinstate the White House ban on deep water oil drilling in the Gulf of Mexico or not. A lower court threw out the ban several weeks ago. The ban and the BP oil spill that led to it both illustrate the challenges facing an economy that consumes 20 million barrels of oil a day, much of it imported. Joining us now is former U.S. Energy Secretary Spencer Abraham. He is the author of uh, Lights Out, 10 Myths About and Real Solutions to America's Energy Crisis. Mr. Secretary, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let, me start out, let me start out by asking you about one of those myths, and that is uh, energy independence. You don't think that that's an achievable goal for us? Well, I, I think when politicians bandy that term about, uh, they imply that in a few years, America won't have to depend on any imported energy. That's simply not true. We, we don't have enough here at home. It's a global economy. Uh, and until we develop brand new sources of energy that can power motor vehicles and so on, we're going to be dependent on imports. The question is whether or not we can reduce that dependence and begin to develop more energy here at home. And one of the arguments I make in my book is that that is a priority. And I think it's something that's even more clear to people uh, with each passing year, because as we say, all these geopolitical problems in the world, uh, the less we have to worry about others for our energy's future, I think the better. A priority, you say, but how do we wean America off of oil and how do we really wean politicians off of oil companies' money? Well, you're not going to wean Americans off of oil. I mean, this is a country whose economy has been always based on having plentiful, affordable supplies of energy. Uh, but one of the things we can do is develop more sources here at home, uh, not only in terms of developing uh, uh, more oil here, but also we need to build more nuclear power plants. We need to, to, to install more uh, renewable energy sources uh, that are domestic sources so that we're not uh, you know, as dependent on external imports. And look, yes, politicians uh, take money from oil companies and from environmental groups and from many others who are part of the energy and environmental debate. Uh, but the but the claim, and as my, my, my goal in the book is to say, look, we have all these myths out here that we can attain independence and energy overnight, that we can, uh, you know, that nuclear power plants remain as unsafe as they were 30 years ago. And as long as we let those myths dictate energy policy, we've refu we, we do not make the tough right. decisions. But that we need to. Let me break in there for a moment because nuclear energy, and that's certainly a hot button uh, for many, many people out there. I, I get your argument, but what do you do still about the nuclear waste? Well, first of all, a, a strong majority of Americans support nuclear power. Second, but not, we in, their can back, build but not in their backyards. Oh, well, actually, that's not true. Uh, the strongest support for nuclear power plants is, is closest to the existing plants because people who have had the experience of, of being in the area of plants actually favor nuclear energy more than anybody else. It tends to be people who are far away from them that are usually the head of the opposition. In terms of the waste, uh, what we should be doing is very simple. We should recycle uh, the nuclear waste. That's what's happening almost everywhere else in the planet except in America. And by doing that, we not only wouldn't have as much waste, but we'd be able to reuse the nuclear fuel and be able to therefore limit the amount of costs we, we have in, in maintaining and operating nuclear power plants. Let's get Unfortunately, the United States policy has been on the other side of that issue, but it's been, I think, a mistake. Let's get back to the oil. I mean, uh, what do you think? And it's interesting, you, you worked for George Bush, Republican, and you were a Republican senator from Michigan. Uh, the Obama administration has a lot of green initiatives here, and they want to uh, lower our energy uses, especially your carbon footprint. Do you agree with the, the Democrats on that issue? I mean, do you want to shrink people's carbon footprints and, and lower their use of oil, say, in cars? Well, I, I certainly support, you know, sustainable development. I think if we, look, if we build more nuclear plants, if we build more renewable energy sources, and look, I'm a conservative, if we can conserve more, which we should be able to do. I mean, we waste a lot of energy in this country. We can dramatically cut the amount of carbon emissions that uh, America and the rest of the world emit each year. Uh, but we haven't made the tough decisions to move in that direction. There's always some reason not to, not to build nuclear, not to have things in your own backyard. I mean, even renewable energy wind farms are unpopular because people don't want them near them. They don't right. want transmission lines. It's time to change yeah. that philosophy. So much to talk about. Too little time. Spencer, we'll have to have you back because we really appreciate this. Look um, forward to thank it. Thank you Thanks so much. Lot. Spencer Abraham, yep. former Energy Secretary for the United States.